Hey guys, Vibe and Brunette Shaley here. <clears throat> my throat hurts a little bit. Um, I don't know why, actually. But today is my birthday, and um, I'm just going to be showing you guys what I'm doing. Now, I'm actually not doing anything really special, not like wearing anything like too crazy. I'm actually just wearing something really casual because my mom's taking me, um, she's just going to take me a few places to go shopping. So I didn't want to like get dressed up like if it was like a party. And I'm not really going to do anything with my hair. You guys will probably see what I do with my hair. But I'll show you guys my outfit. And I'll turn off the fan. But I just have this like little shawl on and a white tank top. And then a pair of black leggings with my combat boots. Um, I really just liked the way this looked and I didn't want to wear anything too much. I just wanted to look a little bit like, you know, it's your birthday so good. But, you know, I didn't want to do it much. Today's kind of like a lazy day for me. But you guys are going to be seeing what I'm doing. Oops. What I'm doing for my look for my birthday. So I'm going to try to set you somewhere where you can see that. Perfect. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is taking a makeup wipe and just removing all the makeup that might be left over from yesterday. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to get my foundation out. Well, actually, first, I'm going to be testing out these new products that I got yesterday, and I'm going to be using the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. And I think that they have colors of this because it says clear, transparent, and 01. So maybe they'll have like colors if you want it to match your skin tone. Dogs coming in. So I'm going to read the directions because I've actually really never used a primer. And it says apply before foundation for an unbelievably smooth complexion. Okay. 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 So I'm just going to take a little bit onto my finger. And do a few of some dots. Um, this feels kind of like, it doesn't look like it, but I feel like, I don't know, it felt a little bit oily at first, but it's not. It's definitely not an oily product. I like that, because I really just don't like oily stuff. Okay, so so far I like the texture and stuff for this, and we'll see if it works. <coughs> is I'm just going to be using my Dream Matte BB Cream. And I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender that I just got at Was Me yesterday. And it was 3 something, maybe like 349, 350. And I'm, I actually don't know. Again, I've never used one of these. So this with the sponge looks like. Some people say you damp it, it works better. It doesn't say to do that. It's my first time using it. I'm going to learn the way. I'm just going to try this. It says, dip sponge into makeup, blend onto the face, with repeated dabbing or stippling motion. So I'm just going to do this and get it into the small area that I want to get it into. I can already see that it really just blends, blends the foundation better than my stippling brush and um, what my fingers can do. And my face is a bit red and this is taking care of all of that. And this round part really like blends this and these points get into like the little um, places. 
and there's like this one's a smaller point and this one's a bigger point. I really like that they do that. Um, I really do like this. It's not hard. I've heard some people say that the dupes are just not good because they're hard. This is really, really squishy and fun to play with. Like, Um, and I only use a little bit of BB cream on my hand. I usually have to apply more. Which I'm just going to apply a little bit more to my cheeks. Because I have some redness in certain areas. I'm just going to apply some where I want to get on. And there we go. And then we're going to blend that all together. And so far, I'm really liking this. I mean, I can't compare it to a beauty blender, because clearly I don't have one of those. But I like the way that these look. And for a beauty blender, beauty blenders are really expensive. This is the brand that does it. Um, I really like this, that I only had to pay, you know, it's less than $10. It's literally... It was four, it was like probably, you know, maybe four something with tax. I know it was only three something. But I actually don't have a receipt. No, I do have a receipt actually somewhere, but I'm not going to go into it. I know it's three something, you can look it up. Again, this is Expert Complexion Sponge, a complete makeup applicator and studio basics. That's the brand. And I actually looked up a review. Some people said that they actually really like this. So I'm definitely, oh, but it does say, gently wash in mild soap and warm water, then air dry. For best results, re replace regularly. I don't know what that means, like when you have to replace it, but every once in a while I probably go and grab a brand new one of these babies because I'm really liking them so far. And next I'm going to take my new NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer Pot, and mine is in porcelain. I'm just going to take, I'm actually just going to be taking my finger with this because I, the concealer brush I have I really don't like. It's just my e.l.f. concealer. And um, right now I can say that um, it doesn't blend that easy, but I honestly don't have a problem with it. Um, it really highlights the area. As you can see on my finger, it's a lot lighter than my skin, but it highlights the area. It does end up blending into your skin, but I can't say it blends that easy. It doesn't blend together that easy. And then I'm just going to take this on the blemishes and see how it covers it up. Okay, so it's covering up the redness. Definitely covered up my blemishes, but it's not quite blended in yet. So I'm just going to take this little brush that I have and try to. I'm actually going to take my beauty blender and try to just blend this out a bit because I know that I only use this as a BB cream. I was going to use it with the found, um, concealer, but this isn't a liquid concealer, so I figured it might not work as well. Okay, so this beauty blender just blended that right out. So if you have stuff that's not that easy to blend, I recommend getting these. And it's cheap. It's affordable. Uh, it's cheaper than a mascara, you know, some good mascaras that you might have. I like this so far. And the NYX concealer, it's not that easy to blend. That's the only thing I have to say about it. It, it gives good coverage. It's just not that easy to blend. I'm going to be using my Stay Matte powder. No, actually... Today I'm just going to use my True Match powder, and I'm just going to be using my e.l.f. Total Face brush, and my True Matte powder, and I'm just going to do this. And I'm done with that, and then I'm just going. I have to try out this for you guys. This. 
just gotta pull out these things that I'm going to be trying for you guys. So I've tried the concealer, the primer, and the beauty blender so far. Now, I'm going to use my, um, today for blush to review it. I'm going to do a, a separate review on this Dream Bouncy Blush. I'm going to be using my NYX blush today, and this is in Peach. I'm going to do a separate review on this because it's pretty cool, um, and I'm probably going to get more of these today. So I'm going to do a separate review on those. So what I have to review for you guys is, okay, my NYX brow pencil, my NYX pencil, which is like going to be eyeshadow base and milk, their blush, and then a CoverGirl mascara. So, I'm going to start out with brows, of course. Um, I usually do that before my foundation, but not today, I guess. So, what I'm just going to do is, this is already waxy, cause I'm, so I'm going to see how it works without the wax. And I like waxy eyebrow pencils because wax really helps your eyebrows stay nicely. Okay, so I'm going to, first off, I'm just going to take this little eyebrow and just We're going to see how this works without me having to use black. I usually use the Wet n Wild um, Brow Kit. And it's not that expensive, but it works pretty good. I'm going to assume that I'm not like you. I think it did a really good job um, of shaping. I like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that cat back on. Oh, and by the way, my color is in taupe. And then I'm going to take the little brush side and blend that on and brush it in the place. Um, I gotta say, I really like this stuff. And it's perfect to throw in your purse. And then I'm just gonna take my eyebrow gel. So I love it. It's, um, it's smooth on your eyebrows. You can't feel that it's waxy. Um, when you put it on, it really gets into those areas that you need it to. I really like that about it. And they have a really nice color range. I just, I actually found one that was perfect for my color, which is pretty cool because I usually, it's kind of hard to find me a color because I don't like when my eyebrows are too dark because I feel like it makes them look thicker. And I really like that color of that. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to put my shadow base on because I'm about to do eyeshadow. I'm not going to do any bright colors, so, but I can, but I will be able to tell you if this um, makes them a little bit more pigmented. Um, do you sharpen this? Um, I'm not sure, but it doesn't twist up, and I think that's not a lot of product at all for how much you pay for these, because I think these are, these are like four bucks. And the ones at Dollar Tree, you can roll up, and they're a dollar, of course. So I'm a little upset about that. I mean, you only need the tiniest bit, but still, you know what I mean? I feel that's inconvenient for this whole little stick to just have that piece. It should be about that big then, you know what I mean? I don't like when people do packaging that's huge for no reason, so if you do know, like, if there's a sharpener or something like that, let me know, because I don't know about that. I'm just going to be applying this all over the lid and blending it out with my finger. And you only need, like, the tiniest bit. And I'm just going to put a little bit kind of on the waterline to make me look a bit more white. And I love having white eyeliner and concealer. I have to say, concealer and white eyeliner are my must-haves because, especially for like school and stuff, because on those tired days you got to look awake and alert. So that's that. Now I'm going to put on my eyeshadow. And what I'm going to use today is my, hmm, I 
I'm gonna use my color tattoo, my color tattoo. <coughs> it's a pure pigment, and I have mine in Barely Brazen. It's number 55. And they have, like, gunmetal ones where it's, like, actual, like, it's heavier, like, it's kind of, like, glass. It's not this. So I'm just going to be taking some of my pigment on an eyeshadow brush. That I have. And I'm only going to do a little bit on the lid. And this is the color that I'm doing. And I really love that they have a lot of natural colors of these, and I love the Bradley Brazen. Okay, already I can tell the difference. Okay. These are really pigmented, but I got a really light color, so it was not, like, amazingly pigmented. Because it's just a light color. But it's still this pretty gorgeous natural color. And when I, I, when you're using the white eyeshadow base, people usually use a white base when they do something more. But it's still a lot, a lot of color. A lot more color that you're seeing. Like, it just kind of, like, brightened it up. Um, it may a little go a long way, I can say that. I can't say it did, like, amazing things, but it definitely made a little bit go a long way. Because I didn't use as much as I did before. I just wanted to see how if it got pigmented. Okay. Yeah, I like this. I'm, I'm, I gotta say, the white jumbo pencil, those jumbo eye pencils are perfect if you, um, if you're going to school and you need one day you don't have time to put on makeup, so when you go to school, you have a little bag, and you want to put on a little bit of eyeshadow and mascara, that would be perfect for your eyeshadow. And they have milks, they have strawberry milks, they have everything from natural colors to go with every outfit, to uh, tons of other colors. They're very pigmented, a little bit goes a long way. Um, but I'm definitely going to see how long this lasts, this pencil, because it doesn't look like there's a lot in there, and you can't twist it up, which is like... So, I don't know about this, guys. I mean, little goes a long way. It really did brighten up my eyeshadows a little bit, but I'm not sure if it's going to last that long. So, we'll see about that, guys. We will see. We're going to put it to the test over time. And then, um, and then I'm going to... Where's the Lola? Get out. Sorry about that, guys. My brother is annoying. Okay. Anyway. Now I'm going to use this. And I'm not going to curl my lashes because I honestly don't do that a lot. And we're going to really put this to the test. This is in 310 Black Brown. Black, black Brown Blaze is what I have it in. Now, this I've heard some good things about. This I've heard some bad things about. So I had to try it for myself because honestly I don't have that many problems with mascara to be to be totally honest. Um, what I'm gonna see with this, a lot of people say it doesn't give the volume that it says it's gonna give. I'm gonna put that to the test and see on my lids because really what I look for is that they look a little bit thick and lengthened and a little bit volumized, but they're above. You can see them on the lid. I don't like you have to like look up and be like, hey, look at my. I want to be able to see them in the mirror above that. So I'm going to open this up. And we're going to be seeing the brush, well, in person for me for the first time. Okay, this black-brown color is definitely, like, more brown. I'm a little upset about that, I gotta say. It's, like, brown. Like, it's... I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's definitely not black. Okay, so... But I can work with brown mascaras. I mean, I have brown hair. Not much of a difference. So this mascara is not too dry, um, but it's it's a little bit dry. No, it's actually not that dry, but it's not too wet either. It's like it's like the perfect combo, you could call it, I guess. Let's put this to the test. Okay, so
I did, um, you ever do that thing with mascara where you, like, it kind of, like, gets in your eye a little bit, and you, like, and you, like, blink and get it a little places? Um, I did get a little bit on my lid, and I could just blend that together with the eyeshadow. Um, take an eyeshadow brush and just put the rest of it on. But, um, mm, I don't know if I like this. Maybe I just did it a little weird today because I did kind of mess up on that a little bit. I don't know if I like this though. Um. Hold on. Like, it's okay. I mean, it's above my lid and everything. I don't know. I just don't. It doesn't volumize. They're right. They're totally right about that. But it does go above my lid. Like, I can see my lashes in the mirror and stuff. Um, the lower lashes, it did pretty good. I feel like it gets kind of, like, everywhere. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I mean, I'm going to wear it today. This this is a good mascara, but it's not my favorite. I'm not going to repurchase this, I must say. I'm not. I'm just going to keep sticking to my Maybelline mascaras. They're the best. I mean, I think I'm just a little disappointed. I was expecting a little bit more. Hmm. Okay, guys. So, this is not my favorite mascara, but it works pretty good. If you're going for, if you like natural looks, like if you like a natural mascara, I recommend this. Um, if not, if you like, you know, the full mascara, like Maybelline and all that, don't don't go out and spend six dollars on this because I can't say it worked any wonders. It thickened, but it didn't lengthen. I mean, it lengthened a little bit, but it didn't. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just, I just, I like the mascara, but at the same time, I don't. It's kind of like a love hate relationship. I feel like it does. It needs a little bit more. Um, but anyway, so now that I'm done with the eyes, because I'm just doing that natural, um, I'm just going to be doing my mixed blush with my e.l.f. bronzing brush. Packaging, easy to open. This is in peach. This is very pigmented. I'm only going to take like a little bit on my brush. Oh, that's, I like these. Their, br their blushes are quality blushes. They're really quality blushes. You honestly don't have to use a lot, like on here. And when I do it, I'm not actually swirling it. I'm actually going like this because I'm scared to get too much pigment. Because I'm not trying to do anything special today. So already I like the NYX blush, and I have this in peach. And I'll come up to the camera so you guys can see this. You can't really see it on the camera at all. Wow. Um, I can definitely see it in the mirror. It's pink, like a pop of peachy pink. And then, what I'm going to use for my lips today, I'm going to use my Color Rich Balm and... 418 Karen Coral. And I'm just going to apply this to the lips. And I did a review on these yesterday. And I love them. I love all of them. And I have three that I just got yesterday. Okay, so that's my makeup look. A little bit of pink blush, a light eyeshadow, some light mascara. And now I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to do my hair, but I don't know what I'm going to do this again. I'm actually probably just going to put a headband on, and I'll sync that. And I have hot pink sports bra on, so I'm just going to wear this hot pink, hot pink um, headband, my thick one.
And then we'll see what earrings and jewelry I'm going to wear. That is what I'm doing for my hair because I'm honestly going shopping, so I'm not like getting dressed up. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this. Shell in my hair and just scrunch it, make the curls just look a little bit frizzy, less frizzy. And I'm just gonna take a little bit more. And it's just this pretty look. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this because not only is it detangler, but it's like a defrizzer, like to help your hair from frizzing. And I like the way it smells. It smells so good. And so, yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. And I'm just going to put back there. I really like this look. It's just kind of like casual if you want to throw something together. If you're late for school one day, kind of makes it look like you tried, but not really. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, you know, thumbs up if your birthday is August 26th, too. Um, you know, if that happens to be like that. So, yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed what I'm doing today. And I'm just actually going to put this down as a daily look because it's not really a birthday look at all. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to three things you have to do on Fiber Brunette's channel. So, yeah. Bye, guys.